So Tibetans fighting for their freedom, fighting for their future. So that's why I told Dalai Lama, it's not like a, you have to appreciate we Chinese support you. No, not at all. We Chinese have to support you. We have to appreciate whatever you, do, you did. Because they are breaking down the communist system inside China. Um, it seems today have a problem is the majority Chinese inside is on the side of the government, on the communist side. I was, in 1985, I came to the West. So amazing that everywhere they have a Tibet group, even don't have a Tibetan, but the West so supported the Tibetan and Tibetan government. So I think this is very good uh, for the people thinking about it. Chinese plate is made by China, not made by metal, not made by paper. If you want to remove a part of it, that means you're breaking down the systems, its common systems. So this is my first point. The second point is recently, I make some study. I find out there's a nine edition published by Chinese academic uh, publisher about the map from Qing Dynasty to Han Dynasty to Dang Dynasty, Yuan Dynasty, Ming Dynasty, and to Qing Dynasty until today. Okay. But as you know that when Ludi Gary as a representative to talk to Chinese, the Chinese always say, well, Tibet from Asian is a part of the, uh, a part of China. But the map actually tells the people it's different. <coughs> Unfortunately, today I cannot show you the map, okay. Tibet is entirely is an independent country, okay. From Qing Dynasty, Han Dynasty, and include to Ming Dynasty. But only in Qing Dynasty, it seems China had a big map, big territory, include the northern part of the Heilongjiang River in, in northeast, so-called, and include the Xinjiang in the Middle Asia. But actually, Mongolia we go Xinjiang and Tibet is so-called, actually is a colonial land. Just like a, the Indian have the relation with the British. It's not really part of British, okay. There's no really have a Chinese soldier, whatever, occupied Tibet. Tibet from the beginning until Qing Dynasty, until coming down. They have independent, they have their political systems, they have their own social systems, they have their tax systems, they have their religions. Everything is independent. Yeah, there's some central government representative over there. But it is not really occupied and order whatever handled by the central government. I want to remind the people that in 1911, when the Qing Dynasty was gone, and Sun Zhongshan had a revolution, tried to say, well, you know what he said? I mean, we want to get rid of Manchuria and recover our China. Okay. And I want to remind you, even later in 1960, there is a uh, argument between uh, the border of, with with the Soviet Union and China, and Soviet Union said, "Well, the border is your Great Wall." Yeah, what is a Great Wall? Great Wall is the border, right? Yeah. 
So, until 1959, People's Liberation Army finally occupied Tibet, as Mao Zedong did, communists did, invaded and uh, take the over. There's no Tibetan government in Tibet now. And Tibet is totally occupied by the communist regime. So what is the government said is uh, from Asia that Tibet is a part of China. Unfortunately, this is not true. This is a lie. Okay. So this is the second point I want to show it to you, that even Chinese academic publisher published a photography book, Dynasty by One, the other, other Dynasty. China is not part of the, the, the inner map of the Chinese territorial. The last point is talking about freedom in Tibet. You know, I was amazing that when 1985 I came to the United States and looking for my freedom, and uh, I'm very happy that I finally I was uh, approved by American government, and then later I became American citizens, and I just focused on the Laogai issue. Today we have Laogai Museum on M Street. And I just want to uh, additionally tell you that we are producing uh, another uh, photo about Laogai in the Tibet. Okay. Because what? Because uh, the Soviet have the Gulag. But China don't have it. How do you handle these dissidents? How do you handle the people? You can't kill all of them. Okay? <coughs> Chinese executed many prisoners. Always is number one. Never tell the truth. But still have a lot of people alive. Go to the Lao guy. Just like in Soviet, go to the Gulag. But unfortunately, until today, it's a it, people suppose not going to talk about this long guy. But anyway, we are making another photograph uh, exhibition, long guy in Tibet. So we heard, uh, you know, in 1959, when China invade to uh, Tibet, uh, thousands and thousands of people uh, occupied the Bodalak uh, Palace. And at that same time, in Beijing, has a very quiet, secret exhibition. And I have the opportunity to visit the exhibition. It's telling that how Dalai Lama abused the people, and uh, how about Tibetan religious uh, make the people sad, and about the slave in the Tibet. It's all these so-called dirty and terrible whatever. It means the People Liberation Army do have the rights to occupy Tibet. Liberation, liberate Tibet. So you see that China today is going to celebrate 50 years anniversary, millions of Tibetan slaves while got the liberation. I was there in 1959, okay. Well, I'm 21 years old. I'm not quite sure what is that. But I, I just very impressed that I thought Tibetan baby is a kind of uh, backward. They don't have railway. They don't have airplane. Uh, maybe it's kind of slave systems. Whatever. Chinese liberate them and then maybe the Tibetan will have a have a future. 